Hello and welcome back to Meat City Gaming. JD here with another episode of Battle Bites here in World of Tanks. And today we are in a standard battle on port. It's a tier 7 battle and we are in the tier 6 British medium tank, the premium version, the Cromwell Knight. And if you've tuned in at all to my channel, you know that this tank, along with the Cromwell, they're very similar. Uh, it's my favorite tank to play in the game. It's extremely fast. It's got a great gun that uh, fires very rapidly. Decent penetration, low alpha damage, but it accumulates very quickly. Um, I have one of my most skilled crews in the game in this tank. So my spotting is good, my view range is good, uh, firing on the move, doing extra damage to modules, all that stuff. This, this crew is kitted out, and it's always a joy to play this tank when I can, even if I get stuck in a tier 7 game. So I jumped up onto the bridge here to try and use uh, my enhanced crew skills to see if I could provide some spotting for the team early on. Uh, we did get a spot, we do see a couple of enemies, but nothing really right now that's presenting itself as an opportunity for us to put some fire into. And it's getting a little crowded up here as well, so instead I decided to, uh, to back out and relocate, find somewhere more useful uh, for my tank. And I notice here there's a light tank on the enemy team making a little bit of a run um, towards our base, which is kind of weird because there's no arty on our team. Usually a light tank will, will make a run like this to try and get to our artillery. But we don't have any, but there is a heavy tank here, and I don't know which heavy tank it is, so I'm thinking, well, you know, maybe this heavy could get in trouble if the light's able to start circling it, but that's not the case. It's a tiger. He knows what he's doing. He's kind of pinned this guy in. Uh, I'm able to come over here, provide a little bit of assistance, and I do end up securing the kill, um, but the tiger, he, he would have had that without me, but it's always nice to help out an ally. We save some of his health. He is a top-tier heavy tank, so we're going to need him to carry his weight in this game if we're going to be successful. I've got a nice little opportunity here to fire at the Jagdpanzer IV, the Tier VI turretless German tank destroyer, and it's a little weird that I got spotted. I'm firing through that bush, which is really far away. Uh, I take a couple shots at the Jagdpanzer, and then I stuck around there. When I got spotted, I should have pulled back. I didn't need to take that shot. I was getting a little bit greedy, uh, and when my, my sixth sense went off, I should have pulled back and disengaged. Um, not quite sure what spotted me there. It shouldn't have been the Jagdpanzer. He should not have been able to see me at that distance through that bush. Um, but no worries, we just took one hit and we still have plenty of health left and we're in the fight here. Now I see the sibling to this tank, the regular Cromwell, the non-premium version on the enemy team. Uh, so he's just as dangerous a tank as I am. So we'll need to keep an eye on him and try to take him out when we can. So we get some more opportunities for the Jagdpanzer IV and our second shot there was able to remove him from the game for our second kill. And then in our very next shot, we're able to snap one into the Cromwell who's doing some, some ridge work up and down the hills, using the mobility of that tank, but we got a little lucky and did put one into the rear of the tank. So there's a bit of a corner face-off going off over here. A T1 Heavy, the Tier 5 American Heavy Tank on the enemy team is dug in here, trying to angle, angle well uh, against one of our heavy tanks, and I'm trying to provide some covering fire where I can, put some shots of opportunity, and I do get a tracking shot there, which is good, pins him in place. And now I can see we've got two allies that are ready to push this corner as well. So I want to support from above here to, uh, to free up this corner so these guys can advance and get some flanking fire to the rest of the enemy tanks. So we're waiting for our gun to reload. Again, we're trying to just poke up here, use mobility, use this bridge to prevent uh, line of sight to a lot of my tank whenever I can. Um, we do have a tier 7 medium Russian tank who crested the ridge there. We tried to take a snapshot, but he pulled back in time. But now I see this is my chance. We need to get rid of this T1 Heavy. One shot should do it. We're going to pull forward here, aim for the gun port there, the weak point on the tank. I don't think that shot flew into it, but we had enough of the front of that tank for the shot to go in and penetrate and remove it from the game. And now, once again, it's a two-on-two -two fight down low here, so we're going to try and tilt those odds in our favor, being the third tank, providing some extra fire. But I'm bouncing off the front plate of this ARL, uh, the Tier Six French uh, Heavy Tank. And now we've got now we've got enough of a downward angle, and we switched over to some premium rounds. We don't want to be bouncing here. We need to be contributing. And then wham, wham, rapid succession. I take two hits, and I'm nearly removed from the game. I am on just a fraction of health, 80 hit points here left. Um, I stuck around. I really wanted to get rid of that ARL, make sure that we, we finish that fight and allow my allies to advance. But I need to be really careful now. Any shot that penetrates me from any of the tanks that are remaining in the game, and I will be out. So we're having a really nice influence on the battle here. We've got four kills so far, and there's a KV-1. And our first shot went errant, but the second one we gave some nice lead. We go in, damages engine. The second one, 
There we go again. He's now a one shot. Don't aim at me. Don't aim at me. He does not. And we're able to reload the gun and put in our fifth kill. So four enemies left. Scores look pretty good. It's 11 to 8. We're winning. And, uh, and I'm on five kills. So let's go hunting for one of those medals. This could easily be a top gun. And if we play our cards right, we could be in the hunt for a Devastator or a coveted Radley Walters. Let's see what we can do. Of course, the flip side to that is we are on one hit. So anything that uh, that spots us and puts a shot in will remove us from the game. So we can't just charge in, trade health. Uh, I've already traded all the health I have to do. But this looks like a great opportunity. It's a T28 HTC. It's an American premium tier seven tank destroyer. And it's got a good traverse uh, gun traverse, but it doesn't have a turret. So we had the side of his tank and we're bouncing a lot there. We were able to put one in. I think it was a premium round, which I've switched to now because we're at long range. The armor on that tank is really good and he's angled. So we're trying to, to secure one of these metals here uh, by getting a little extra penetration. Again, I can't just charge this guy um, because there are a couple tanks down that way and one shot will take me out. So we're trying to play our cards right, play a little cautious. We put a shot out, it bounces. We put another shot out, it bounces. These are premium rounds, guys. Premium rounds on the side of this tank. There we get one. He is angled pretty well. Oh, that one bounces. We need one more shot. One hit will do it. We track him. We're trying to reload and an ally takes him out. So we get the assistance damage but no Top Gun yet. Now three enemies left and only four allies. They've pulled back a couple of kills there and this is now a close battle that could go down to the wire. Thankfully, we get the next kill. Uh, an ally takes it out. So now it's four on two and things are looking pretty good. We've got what looks like multiple angles converging on these last two tanks. A, uh, a KV, is it a KV-3 and an AT? So it's a Russian heavy tank and one of the heavily armored British uh, turretless tank destroyers. So we're gonna try and move in here and help. There's two of our tanks engaging the AT. And remember the, uh, the cupola of that tank is the weak point if you can see it. Of course the side also works so we're able to put that one in. But now we've got a T-29 face hugging this guy. I don't really have an angle here. The armor on that AT is too good from this angle. So we're gonna relocate and try to be more useful. And there we go, we've got the KV. He's looking down towards his ally trying to help him out so that lets us come in on the side. Put a shot in and one went in from the ally too, but we've got his rear and no, it's not enough. But can we reload in time? No, not again. We only have five kills, guys. We need to get this top gun. Reload, reload, yes, the last shot goes in. We're able to secure the last shot of the game into the last tank to get our sixth kill and grab a top gun in the Cromwell Knight. Uh, so thankfully, allies did really well there, able to secure that win. It was close at the end. The, uh, the enemies did a good job. We had a couple of heartbreaks on some bounces on the T28 HTC and uh, just a little bit low on the damage roll for that KV at the end. But instead, we we're able to quickly switch our fire, put the last one into the AT and secure the top gun. So a nice result. You can see 2,600 total damage that game. Uh, premium tank. And we did even firing some of those premium shells that we did. We still made 41,000 credits, uh, 6,200 XP. And I believe that was doubled for our first win. Uh, there might've been an op on top of that. And you can see we secured a bunch of medals, including the first class mastery badge to go along with our top gun. So we had 23 penetrating hits, six kills. We did detect the tank early on there as well. Um, you can see I have one mark of excellence on this tank. I've got two on the regular Cromwell. I'm working my way towards two for the Cromwell Knight, but the competition is pretty fierce. People playing this tank usually know what they're doing and usually have some pretty nice results. So stiff competition to get the uh, the marks of excellence on this tank. Quick, quick look at the uh, detailed stats. We can see we put up 1,760, I believe, base XP, which is a really solid result in this tank. Uh, six kills, 2,600 damage. You can see we shot 42 rounds that game. We were not sparing the trigger. Uh, 30 of those hit. Again, we were playing some peek boom We were at long ranges and only 23 penetrations. Uh, so yeah, if you were tuning in for some accuracy, that was not here. And if you're tuning in for penetrations, not here as well. Almost 50% of our shots fired actually hit and did damage. So a bit disappointing there. It was a tier seven game. So it's not like we were shooting at a lot of tier fives and sixes um, other than that T1 heavy. And even that's a pretty good uh, tank from the front in terms of its armor profile. So kind of a fun one today, quick rapid action. It's my favorite tank. It's always good for an entertaining replay. And it was a close battle to boot. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. If you did, feel free to give a thumbs up. I truly appreciate it. And always subscribe for future content if you like to be notified when the next video comes out. Thank you for joining me and I will see you next time.